Welcome to this uh, week's Coach Box Chat. We are going to touch on building a holiday routine. So workout wise, nutrition wise, we're gonna to touch yeah. on all of that. Yes, because this time of year, everything happens at once. We've yeah. got kids school concerts, if they're still doing them, mm -hmm. um, holiday parties, events, weekends are filling up fast and yeah. I feel like I just, can't keep the routine going that I'm used to doing. Exactly. Whether it's yeah. working out, nutrition, like it just seems so busy this time of year. I think it's like, it's because you transition from like Halloween, time change, yeah. and then it's like holidays, holidays and just vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Holiday vomit, <laughs> holiday vomit. Yeah. 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 So I think one of the key things that helps people is maybe forecast to see what's coming on coming up as far as events or sports or whatever the case may be, get that put in your calendar, um, generally on your phone, I think most people use their phone calendar, but also schedule in those workouts or prepare for even those holiday events coming up that you're still trying to keep a somewhat normal routine yeah. without completely falling off the wagon. I think that's a good way to approach it as well. Um, I think taking it week by week as yeah. well sometimes it's better like don't look at like the whole month yes that's like one because that can get yeah. very overwhelming and very fast yeah. plan things out like by the week and if you're able to like mm -hmm. kind of have like one week kind of like set out on your calendar and the next week kind of like a rough draft for the week following right. so that you yeah. kind of feel like you're approaching ahead of time but right. not trying to approach too much or trying to catch up and you're falling yeah. behind yeah yeah and it can be a stressful time this year too right yeah. there's so much stuff thrown at you and expectations and dynamics that your stress level can go from zero to 100 very quickly yeah. and then of course everything else starts to fall apart because a lot of us don't know how to deal with stress very well or <laughs> You know, not in a healthy manner. Not in a healthy manner, yeah. So try not to, you know, let things bother you or take it with a stride and um, don't worry about the things you can't control. Yeah. Worry about the things you can control. Um, and just go with the flow some days. And tend to let, like, things that we perceive as being out of control control us in the end. Yes. When it's something we could control, like, I know. I'm not in this environment so much anymore, but when I used to be, when it was like getting close to the holidays, you would find people bringing like holiday treats. Yeah, yeah. Because they would start like their Christmas baking and then they would think that like, they need to share it. Yes. <laughs> so you'd walk in the staff room and it would like be like Christmas over yeah. sort of like treats and like and even weeks before weeks before Christmas actually Christmas. happens. So yeah. You're like already indulging or feeling need to participate yeah um yes i totally agree <laughs> and it's m much appreciated yes however it can be triggers for people it can and be. uh especially yeah. people who try to normally like moderate yeah. how much processed sugars foods right. that kind of stuff that they eat mm -hmm. and then they feel like i know it just feels like you're just being dumped like it's like everywhere you turn there's like yeah. foods that you're like i don't really need but yeah. how do you say no to no. <laughs> so all the good stuff yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so knowing that it's okay to indulge once in a while but not to like carry that with you right yeah um, and sometimes then, you know you can tell yourself well i'm just going to try one but then you try one here and then well you've got to try one of these and then there's the next thing coming up and then the other thing and then next thing you know you've as i said fallen off the wagon yeah. of what your goals were so so like control the things that you know is going to be your own environment so my biggest suggestion is to like sit down as a family yeah. and kind of like rough plan out even like one week if not two weeks of like a rough idea of like okay, we're gonna have this for supper, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. and maybe even Friday. Sometimes people just feel like Fridays, they don't feel like cooking yeah. or whatever, and maybe you plan to order something in yeah. that you can control what you're gonna eat, but like schedule that so that if you are indulging mm -hmm. at work or wherever you're going, Christmas party, family gatherings, whatever,
whatever, that at least you have some control over what you have been mm -hmm. fu fueling your body with the rest of the week, and then you don't have to feel yeah. like you've just totally demolished mm -hmm. that routine right. of how you usually eat yeah. and just eating whatever was in your yeah. path. <laughs> and it's okay to turn things down. Yeah. Um, just you know, let them know that, you know, thank you very much, but we're trying to monitor what we're eating and, or take it, throw it in the freezer yeah. and bring it to a party, yeah. <laughs> rearrange the food items or bring it yeah. to a party and uh, let somebody else indulge too. That could be another. And don't feel like, I know that like for the longest time, people used to always feel like when it was like a piece of dessert and it was already cut mm -hmm. into a certain size, it's okay to be like, that looks delicious. I don't really need or want a full piece of that, but I will definitely cut a piece off of it. Yeah. You do not feel bad for doing that. Yeah. People are not going to be offended. No, no. Um, yeah, so that's just some kind of yeah. things you can t target on. Yeah. And then routine-wise for fitness, I think planning, like booking yourself in and scheduling at least mm -hmm. a week to a week and a half in advance and keeping on top of that yeah. and like committing to that not being like oh this came up and like I could go but like yeah. and then humming and fine just stick with it yeah even if you are normally a person that works out five days a week and you during the holiday season have to drop back to three days a week be just because it takes a little bit of maybe anxiety and stress off of you because you already have so much going on that's completely fine but don't just totally be like i'm not going at all yeah <laughs> it's not going to aid you and it's going to actually spike up yeah your stress levels. yes and then you're going to feel bad um, yeah feel disorganized again you're going to be out of routine and you're saying some you're saying no to something that's really important to you yeah. and putting other people's needs ahead of your own and what you want to get out of your routine so yeah yeah um it's yeah the holidays are coming up quick it's already the middle of the month of november yeah and uh yeah so plan ahead get lots of sleep yeah drink lots, lots of water, water. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid to say no to things yeah don't, don't, don't be afraid, afraid to things. you know turn away those trigger things that yeah. uh may not serve you well and uh, if it's not filling your cup it's probably not something that yeah. you should really be doing exactly yeah. yeah yeah so hopefully you found these uh, tips useful and you can use them for the next few weeks as we transition from um, just post thank or uh, Halloween to holiday season <laughs> full year I'm sure you've heard all over the radio yes it's Christmas music everywhere yes <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> Till right. next time. See you guys.